Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times Crossword for Tuesday, January 3rd, 2023. Alright, let's get started. One across. Salted part of a margarita glass? That's the salted rim. Okay. Blank stone. British Museum attraction. I think they have the Rosetta Stone, don't they? Uh, that does fit. They got me. And these quotation marks mean we need to come up with an equivalent phrase. They got me. Is it, I'm a goner? No, that doesn't fit, does it? The Princess Diaries author. Hmm. I don't think I know who wrote this. B in the red, that's going to be O. Droop could be sag. And then... This is I-W. Is it I was had? You were swindled? Okay. I'm still not sure who this is. Holding account for a down payment say. You could hold money in escrow for a down payment. That's kind of like a third party holding funds until some conditions are met. Okay. So we do have some circles on the grid today. It looks like they're bookending some of the longer across answers. Multitaskers browser full. That'll be tabs. Brouhaha could be an ado or a stir. Oh man, we're gonna have to get this on crosses. Let's take a look at our first theme answer here. Host's farewell phrase. Shouldn't that be thank you for coming? That doesn't quite fit, does it? Is this RNs? ER staffers, yeah. And we have registered nurses abbreviated because we have the abbreviated emergency room in the clue. All over the place. That could be a muck. You can run a muck. Puts in the overhead bin, say. That should really be stows. So this is not thank you. Maybe it's just thanks for coming. That actually fits too. Excellent. So is this going to be part of the theme? It seems like we have a revealer down here. And this would be the mirrored pair to that. Let's see. With 55 across, modern principle of startups. I'm pretty sure I've heard tech bros say something like move fast and break things. Is that right? Let's see if this fits. It does. And this is a thing here. This looks like a thing that's being broken. Okay. Is this going to be a thing as well? TV political drama known for its walk and talks. I think that's the West Wing. And that fits too. And that does give us another thing. Excellent. Sorry sort. Hmm. Maybe it's someone who wants to atone. It could be an atoner. It's kind of an unusual word. Thanksgiving month that is in November. And it's abbreviated again because we have an abbreviation in the clue. Chemical ending. I want this to be een. Wolf down. Hmm. This should be snarf down. So maybe this is ain instead of een. And this is snarf. I always grew up saying scarf down, but on the crossword puzzle, they almost always want snarf down. Directs as to a specialist. That's going to be refers. Swiss currency is a franc. Tolkien tree creature. Those are the giant ants who speak very slowly. Cause for an extra charge at a hotel. Hmm. Would they charge you for a cot? Let's see if that's right. Clamp on a stringed instrument. What do they call those? Hmm. I think the C looks okay here. Let's see if this O is right. Said aloud. Yeah, that could be oral. One of the three musketeers. Well, there was... Athos, Porthos, and Aramis, right? And D'Artagnan. 
Italian pressed sandwich. That's gotta be a panini. Ripe time of one's life. Is that a ripe old age? Nice, okay. So this is a capo. That does sound vaguely familiar. I think I've maybe seen that once on a puzzle. We have Mia, Mia Thermopolis, and Hathaway's role in The Princess Diaries. Hey, look at this. The Princess Diaries author, Meg Cabot. That's funny, we have a little Princess Diaries mini theme. Nice, okay. Blank the Riveter, World War II icon. That was Rosie the Riveter. Enter with hostility. That's gotta be storm in. Complain needs to be moan. Reddit Q&A session. That is an ask me anything. Feeling of astonishment. It looks like it's gonna be awe. Tend to as taxes or fingernails. You file both of those things. What a budget motel might have. One star? That sounds pretty dubious. This will be inns, helpful connections, that's right. Shoe part that may develop holes. It's right under your feet, it's the sole. Okay. Bird in Tootsie Pop commercials since 1970. That's the wise old owl. Looks fine to me, another equivalent phrase. Seems okay. What do we have here? Warmth. Is it heat? We have an eel. Epitome of slipperiness. Yes, that is an eel. Faith of representatives Ilan Omar and Rashida Talib. That would be Islam. So what do we have here? We know we're going to have another thing, right? So we can go ahead and put that in. Let's see. Maybe we can get this while we're here. Never would have guessed it. Another equivalent phrase. Hmm. It seems like it has to be, that's surprising. Nice, and that's our last broken thing. Okay. Oh, not good at all. Another equivalent phrase. It's bad. That sounds very ominous. The way in Arabic is that Sharia. That's kind of funny crossing Islam. Like variables that are not directly observed. Hmm. I don't know if I know this. It sounds like it's talking about mathematics. I wonder if they're latent? That kind of means something that's there, but it's not seen. Grabbed a chair. Yeah, that's sat. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Mediterranean fruit. That is a date. So we have eight here. Supped. That's a kind of fancier way to say eight. Comma blank. That could be the Kama Sutra. Openly gay is going to be out. Lex of Superman. That's Lex Luthor, Superman's arch villain. Go on the blank. Flee. That is go on the lamb. You're running away. Mall Santa EG. A mall Santa would be an example of a temp. Yeah, you're only there for one month out of the year. Typical high schooler, that's a teen all right. Let's see if we can finish this last corner here. Brainiacs, that's gotta be geniuses. Maybe if we all solve enough crosswords, we can be brainiacs. Female sheep, that could be a U. Pantyhose annoyance. This has to be a snag, right? Should we bounce? Yet another equivalent phrase. And this is kind of informal, right? Bounce is a very informal way to describe leaving. So our answer should be kind of informal too. I think it could be wanna go. Nice, okay. Glum could be sad. Impetus behind bragging. That's gotta be an ego. Anderson Cooper to Gloria Vanderbilt. Yeah, he's her son. I learned that a little while ago. He's a Vanderbilt. Quite a lineage. Goaded. That's got to be egged on. It's got to be egged in the past tense because goaded in the clue is in the past tense. And the tenses between your clue and answer always have to agree. 
make harmonious. Is that going to be a tune? Is this an SST? Concord EG in brief. Yeah, the Concord was a supersonic transport. Blank Bitsy. That's got to be Itsy Bitsy. Shows explosive anger. Looks like it's going to be rages. Normal people author Sally. I don't think I've heard of this author before. iPhone platform. That's got to be iOS. Sally Rooney? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if I've heard of them. Opposite of South Southwest. That's got to be North Northeast. So it was Rooney. And this is going to be Arses. British Bottoms? Yeah, that sounds right. All right, let's throw this E in there and see if that'll do it for us. All right, a Tuesday puzzle in just under 15 minutes. That is a very quick Tuesday time. I guess we were trying to move fast and break things. Yeah, we ended up breaking three things. They ended up bookending the phrases, thanks for coming, the West Wing, and that's surprising. Yeah, this is a fun theme though. I think it would have been even cooler if all of the phrases would have had to do with moving fast. Yeah, these are all kind of unrelated. They don't really have to do with moving fast unless you count the walk and talks in the West Wing. But yeah, I think that would have been totally amazing and maybe actually impossible as far as constructing goes. It might have been impossible to find three speed-based phrases that also break things in this way. But yeah, this was still a pretty fun theme for a Tuesday. And there was a bunch of kind of cool, unusual vocabulary too. We had escrow, latent, and a muck. Yeah, there was some more arcane language on today's puzzle. I definitely appreciated that. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed moving fast and breaking things with me on this Tuesday puzzle. I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the Wednesday puzzle. And I think that's going to do it for now. All right. I'll see you next time.